Okay. Hi, gang. Welcome to what is most likely the first episode of Frank's House of Fun Guitar Stuff. Who knows what we're going to come up with from time to time. I might even shave one day. It could happen. But tonight we're going to talk about something that I thought of. Actually, the idea occurred to me last week when I was playing with a bunch of bunch of Gretsch fans up at the Gretsch Roundup up in Northern California. And I don't recall what triggered the idea, but the uh, Gretsch 6120 CGP, sometimes known as the CGP, uh, guitar was... Uh, originally, it was a prototype that Gretsch made for Chet Atkins, and it was uh, first pictured on the cover of the F Chet Atkins Fingerstyle Guitar album. And it was just a prototype, which is probably a good thing, because they say the top of that thing was an inch thick and it weighed a ton, so it probably wouldn't have sold well. But the cool thing about this guitar was that the stereo pickup arrangement was not like a lot of stereo guitars, where the neck pickup is one channel and the bridge is another. This one used the bass strings for one channel and the treble strings for the other channel. And Ray Butts designed a special pickup to do that, and it was pretty cool in the day. It's still pretty cool, but nobody's made one until Gretsch reintroduced this or reissued this guitar with uh, some collaboration with uh, Tom TV Jones, who built a custom version of his uh, TV Jones classic pickup, which is split the same way. And that's really cool. I had one of those guitars for a while, but I don't anymore. And I kind of like that stereo effect because you could send the bass strings through, say, a delay on one channel and then keep the treble strings unmolested and play through another channel. And when I built this guitar, here it comes. When I built this, I called it the Chetacaster 2 guitar, it uh, comes with, or I included in it, a set of Graftech piezo saddles and the Graftech Ghost Hexpander system which allows you to plug into, among other things, some Roland sound processors. And with those processors and the software that controls them, you can do all kinds of stuff. And I thought, maybe I could recreate the stereo pickup effect with the bass and treble strings. And it really wasn't that hard. I'll uh, hopefully have a screenshot showing the pan control. There's a pan effect in the GP10, and you just put the treble strings to one channel, the bass strings to the other. Turn off any effects because most of the effects unify the two channels back into one. And then because the GP10 has stereo outputs, send one channel through one effects chain and the other channel through another effects chain or straight to the amp like I did with this one. And you've done it. So I ended up with the bass strings, which I put a little delay on. Let's do that again. And then the treble strings. So the whole thing sounds like. And I'm running each channel into a separate amplifier and then each amplifier through a separate DI into a separate channel in the mixer so you can hear them. So what you end up with is treble strings on one channel, bass strings with the other. Have I said that enough times already? I don't know. But you can get some cool effects like this. And there you have it. Stupid guitar tricks. You betcha. That's what I live for. Thanks for tuning in. And 
We'll see you next time. And on that happy note...